Hi guys, Sarah Maskell here. I'm an Orange Status presenter with Unique. Today I'm going to go through a brow tutorial with you. As we all know, brows really frame our face when we do all of our makeup and it just finishes that look off. So on one eye I'm going to use our brow palette, which is fantastic. So these come in three different colours. The one I'm going to use today is Brunette. Um, it comes in a darker colour, so dark brown, brunette or blonde. With that I'm going to use our brow artist brush. So we've got two ends there. And on the other eye I'm going to use our precision brow pencil. Which So one end you've got the little spoolie brush. On the other end is the, I don't know if you can see that, really really fine um, pencil there. So you don't need a pencil sharpener with this, you literally just roll that up, twist that up. So on the first one, let's use this first, so we'll have a go with this, this is absolutely fantastic. I love this, but then when you've not got much time, it's really good, literally just have that in your bag and you can just run. So let's have a go with this one first, I'm going to use the angled end first. So you've got one end there that's at a slight angle, the other end is flat. So I tend to use this for more for the highlighting underneath. So we're going to do this eye, I think, with this set. So this is the brunette. So what I'm going to do, I am going to start with this lighter colour and then if we need to go darker, we can just go a little bit darker there. So what you want to do when you're starting, your line like here wants to be like in line there. As you can see, mine are quite fine there where I plucked them out years ago and they just don't grow back. So your first bit you want line up here, then from your nose through the middle of your eye, that's where you want your highest point. So your highest point is going to be here and then using your brush again go to the corner of your eye and then you can see this is where you want them ending mine are really really fine there and have disappeared so I'm literally just going to make that tiny little bit longer but to begin with let's start with this lighter colour and what I'm going to do is just well to start with let's just put this line about there, that's where we want that to start and obviously if this is too dark you can just blend it away and I'm going to line slightly underneath and then above and then we can fill in so remember this is only powder so if you make a mistake or anything it's just going to blend away really really easily so you see I've done that line there And then just going to join that line up a tiny bit more. Just going to join up the line. Can you see that just underneath there? I'm going slightly above my eyebrows just because mine are quite sparse so I want that, that line to be just slightly higher and more even. So literally all I've done is done this bit a tiny bit higher but it's actually then matching up with where it is here. So just where it's sparse it's filled it in. So then all we're going to do here is just lengthen that a tiny bit. And then if we need to in a minute we can go in with a bit of a darker colour. So this is the lighter of the colours in the palette. Even that makes such a difference, doesn't it? Obviously, we're going to fill in there so we don't look funny there. <laughs> So literally, if you just do tiny little strokes, because you don't want it to look like it is a big block of colour, you do still want it 
well I quite like it looking quite natural ish obviously if you want that bolder look just go a little bit darker if you want to How is that? So I think, as you can see here, it's really, it's slightly lighter than it needs to be. So I'm just going to go in again, just with this slightly darker colour here. Just on that bit, so that it actually does look like they're my eyebrows and it doesn't look like they're just drawn in. But I'm literally going to use the back of the brush and do like little strokes so that they do look like hairs there and you want that a tiny bit lighter at the beginning anyway because that's you tend to be a bit lighter to the, as the brows begin there so just sharpen up that end a little bit That is so much better, isn't it? So, obviously, you can go over with a brush. So, I've just got my brow brush here. I'm literally just going to brush a tiny bit there just to blend that colour in so that they do look more natural there. But doesn't that make an absolutely amazing difference? And with this set, we've got highlighters here as well. So usually I would do my eye makeup and then just put some highlighter along here so obviously I've not done my eye makeup yet but I'm literally just going to put I think I'm going to put a little bit of this more neutral highlighter there and this has got a mirror in it as well so that's really good quite easy just to pop in your handbag and with this underneath, that just creates that definite line as well. So if you've made a mistake or anything underneath, you can just go over with this and just tidy that up. And it's quite neutral to your skin tone. So it's not going to look like you've just put like a totally different colour underneath. But look at that difference already. Fantastic. So, I'm just going to do the other one. So, we're all done there. Obviously, you can do that darker if you want to. Um, you can put some of the pink on as well. I probably would put some of the pink maybe just a bit further down here when I've done the rest of my eye makeup. But with this one, this is our precision brow liner. So, you're just twisting that to make that come out as much as you need to. With this one, literally the same sort of thing. So obviously you still want to be here, through the middle of your eye, and then towards the end there. And again, little tiny, tiny strokes so that it looks like brush strokes. So, kind of here, so just a really light mark there. And then just line like underneath your natural line. And then I just tend to go on up so that we create that arch. And then that opens your eyes up and gives you that illusion that you've had your eyes lifted. Same again here. So do the same along the top. So again, like I did on the other one, you're just matching that up to this line here. So this is where your natural lines are underneath here. Can you see? So we've gone along there and then literally very, very lightly here and then matching it up to the end. And then that's when you can create that higher arch if you'd like that. And then literally just small strokes and then you're just lengthening that obviously to the length you want. So you're wanting that to be here. That is 
perfect tiny tiny little bit longer there I think obviously if you want them thicker than this just do a few more strokes just a bit thicker so what I'm going to do is just fill in here so literally lines you're going upwards so that it is looking like hair strokes and this is the medium brow pencil that I'm using here again this comes in light medium and dark so the light one is really really blonde and the dark is like brown black so so much difference doesn't it so what I'm going to do because that does look a little bit harsher on that one I'm literally going to go over just to soften that slightly with the spoolie that's on the end and that'll just create those into more brush strokes as well and just soften it making it look a bit more natural how fantastic is that so this eye we've got the brow kit with all of these goodies in and your brow artist pencil and then on the brow artist brush sorry and then on the other side we've got precision eye pencil so catch up with you soon guys take care bye bye